Good morning children. Welcome back to the Google Classroom of Sri Gogulam Public School, Guru Ayur. So yesterday we dealt with the topic nouns and the three types of nouns. Common nouns, proper nouns and collective nouns. So today we will continue the same topic nouns but the other types of nouns such as the abstract nouns, countable nouns and uncountable nouns. So let's move to the abstract nouns first. What is an abstract noun? Abstract noun are those nouns which cannot be perceived by our sense organs. Which means you all know we have five sense organs. So those nouns which cannot be seen or which cannot be heard or which cannot be felt, we cannot touch, we cannot smell or we cannot taste those nouns. So the words which are used to name an idea, a feeling or concept or emotions are called abstract nouns. So abstract nouns are the nouns which are used to name qualities, feelings, emotions, ideas or concepts. So as we discussed uh, in yesterday's topic, we cannot use abstract nouns to refer to a place, animal or thing. We cannot use like that. We use abstract nouns only to refer to the qualities, to the qualities of a person or to the ideas, to the feelings, to the emotions or the concepts. We cannot use abstract noun to refer to a thing. So that is an abstract noun. For example, the president awarded for his bravery. Which are the nouns in these sentences? President is a noun. Then the other word is bravery. So the word bravery is the quality of that person. So in order to refer to a quality or to name a quality of a person, we use abstract nouns. Another example. I spent my childhood in Dubai. So here, which are the nouns in this sentence? Childhood, Dubai. So childhood is again a concept. It cannot be felt or seen. So it is an abstract noun. Whereas Dubai is also a noun. So such types of nouns are called abstract nouns. I give you some more examples. Do is a symbol of peace. Do you know it is the name of a bird. So again do is a noun. Symbol and peace are the other nouns in this sentence. So both the symbol and the peace can be an idea, it can be a concept. So such words, symbol and peace are the abstract nouns. I hope you got a, an idea what is an abstract noun. So let's move to the countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns are the nouns or the names given to an object which can be counted. So it is a name given to an object which can be counted. From the word itself you can uh, get the meaning. Countable noun. For example, car. You can count the car. There are one, two, three or four cars, many cars. You can count the cars. Desk. Fan. Boy, apple, mango, orange, elephant, goat. So all these words can be counted. So the names given to those objects which can be counted is called countable noun. Now let's see uncountable noun. Uncountable nouns are the names given to an object which cannot be counted. For example, applause. When do we give it its applause? 
when someone has victory we give them applause so furniture baggage all these are uncountable nouns and the other differences between the countable and uncountable nouns is that before the uncountable nouns we cannot use a an or the whereas before the countable nouns we can use a an and the we can say a computer is a useful machine the computers are used for all transactions now computers are cheaper now see we can use the plural forms and we can we can also use a an or the before the countable nouns whereas in uncountable nouns we cannot use the plural forms suppose we cannot say applauses we cannot say applauses we cannot say furniture we cannot say baggages baggages we cannot say cements cement is a uncountable noun sugar is a uncountable noun tea is a uncountable noun so we cannot add s at the end of these uncountable nouns we cannot use the plural forms for the uncountable nouns so i hope now you are clear about an abstract noun about the countable nouns and the uncountable nouns so that's all for today let's wind up the session and a worksheet has been attached so try out those uh, sentences try to find out the uh, types of nouns in those sentences and file it with you because the questions in the worksheet are taken from your text are given from your text so as i told yesterday once you receive the text you can mark these answers directly to the text so that's all for today see you in the next class thank you children